This is summer on a platter, okay? This is summer on a platter. So, hey you guys, the Doc is Hope here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and having a great week so far. So today, we are going to be doing a pattern haul. Yes, yes, yes. All the great patterns. It's June and summer's right around the corner. So I have got five great patterns that I think you guys are going to absolutely love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos once a week. All right, you guys, well, without further ado, let's get into this pattern haul. All right, you guys, I think one of my favorite things to do is this pattern hauls because I am so excited to share these patterns with you. Um, you guys give me such great feedback about the patterns that you've either never seen them before or that you like them or that you're going to pick them up. So it makes me really, really excited to share these new patterns with you guys that I got. So let's go ahead and get started with our first pattern. I've got some McCall's, I've got some simplicity, and I've got some new look. No Vogue today, but I think you guys are really going to like these. So the first pattern I'm going to share with you is McCall's 7778. It's a lot of sevens. Um, here we go. Look at that. So let's just start out here. <laughs> um, this is gorgeous, you guys. I absolutely love, love, love this pattern. So there's so much going on here. I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to break it down for you guys. So the options, the options. So we'll start with A. How about that? We'll start with A. This is view A. Um, this is just a cute dress. It's almost a knee length, uh, flowy skirt. You have this really cute bodice. It's slightly a, a sweetheart neckline, which is really cute. And then you have these ties at the top. I just think that is so, so cute. And especially in this print, that is so, so, so cute. So moving on from A, we have B here, which is actually, they're mixing everything. They're mixing everything. So. There's like, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a crisscrossing here. I don't know if that's ribbon. Let's see, I can tell you what it is. It is a ribbon, yep. That is ribbon. So they're, they're putting some ribbon in the bodice here, right down the front. And again, this subtle sweetheart neckline is just so cute. And then you have the longer skirt here. Um, you see here is actually like a romper. Uh, with a flowy short, which is actually really cute. And then you also have that ribboning down the front here for C as well. Um, and then you have D, which who doesn't love D? Look at that, y'all. Mm, look at that. So this jumpsuit right here, this jumpsuit right here, <laughs> they did something when they did that. Um, okay. So again, we have the subtle sweetheart neckline, this wide leg flowy pants situation. Oh my Lord, that is gorgeous. And then you have the straps here, but they put some rings here just to give you just that hardware, that little bit of extra interest that everybody loves. You guys, this is good. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna show you guys the line drawings on the pattern because they're bigger. You can see them better, I believe. So here we go. This is the front. So the front of A, front of B, the front of C and D. So you see that up close. And then here are your backs. So everything's pretty standard in the back. 
The only thing that's got a little something interesting is A with, again, those bows at the top. But this is pretty, pretty straightforward. So all the parties in the front on this one, you guys. Um, so let's talk about this pattern. This pattern is rated easy. Uh, this is a Mrs. Dress romper and jumpsuit. The dresses, romper, and jumpsuit have close fitting interface bodice invisible zipper and gathered skirt or pants with length variations. Love it, y'all. I love getting a whole bunch of stuff all in one package. And this to me is that. You got your romper, you got your jumpsuit, you got your dress. What more can you want? So uh, let's see, suggested fabrics here are your linen, cotton blends, chalet, and your stable knits. So a few options there. Um, and good, nice, cool, flowy fabrics for summer. So that's very important as well. You will need some interfacing. Your notions you're going to need, uh, if you're sewing up A, B, C, or D, you're, well, that's all of them. If you're sewing up any of these, <laughs> you're going to need a 14 inch invisible zipper and one hook and eye. If you're show, sewing up B or C, you're going to need eight grommets and two yards of three fourths inch ribbon. And if you're sewing up D, you're going to need two one and a half inch rings. So love that with the rings here. This is going to be very, very cute, you guys. I don't know, maybe you'll pick it up. So if you do not have it already, again, McCall's 7778. All right, guys, so the next pattern I want to share with you guys is another McCall's pattern. This is so cute, you guys. This is McCall's 8091. Mm. Here we go. Look at that. You guys. You guys. You guys. <laughs> This is just, this is everything right here. This is summer on a platter, okay? This is summer on a platter. So I don't know if we have cups here, as in support cups, but your girl's going to figure out how to wear view A. I'm going to figure it out. I don't know if I'm going to have to put on a strapless bra sew in my own cups for support. I don't know how, how it's gonna work, but this right here, this has my name all over it, okay? <laughs> all over it. So let's look at this. Okay, I guess I'm loving sweetheart necklines right now. So sweetheart neckline here. Um, This got a band, a skirt band is fitted in the in the skirt. So, um, and then this button detail down the front. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see the buttons? I hope you can see the buttons down the front. If not, we'll see it in the line drawing. But you guys, you guys, this dress right here is giving. I'm going to make this. Have y'all figured out that I'm going to make this? <laughs> this all right so let's move on and then there's a pocket y'all see that pocket okay so view b we have the same dress it looks like with a strap at it and then for view c we have the same dress or similar it looks like it may be a little bit longer and we have some bows at the top i think this is cute as well but Ding, ding, ding. That one's going to be for me. So let's talk about this pattern, you guys. This pattern has 15 pieces. It is rated easy. Um, your suggested fabrics are going to be chambray, cotton blends, denim, and twill. How cute would that be in denim? How cute would that be in denim? Oh, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. All right, 
So your notions, you're going to need 10 5 8 inch buttons. And that's it. And that's going right down the front here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, down the front. So if you like to sew buttons, here you go. Um, I don't mind because if, if I'm going to get this 10 buttons, I got that. I can do 10 buttons if I'm going to get this dress, okay? So let's see. Let's look at our line drawings. Oh, so cute, you guys. So the, the dress that I'm thinking of sewing up, which is view A, does not have pockets, but I might add pockets. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling because you can. You can mix and match the stuff that you like. Oh, you guys. And view B, there's a lot of top stitching going on here. Oh, you guys, look at that. Mm, okay, so here's view A. This is the one I said I would like to sew up. Now you can see the buttons for sure here. This is the back. Look at view B though. All, do y'all do see that top stitching? <sighs> I've really become a fan of top stitching lately because it's just so gorgeous. It just looks so clean and neat when you get it right. And it gives your garment that extra oomph. And to me, that's what this is giving. Um, I wonder why they didn't top stitch these two, but I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could top stitch these two as well. So here we go. These are the backs of all three of these dresses as well. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna be making this one, guys. I think I am going to be making this one because that's a good dress. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't have this one, pick it up. McCall's 8091. Okay, it just keeps getting better, you guys. So this is a new look pattern. This is new look 6666. Six, six, six. Lots of sixes there. Don't know how I feel about that, but we're just going to go with it. Um, I didn't even realize that till just now. But here we go. This dress is so cute. Okay, here we go, you guys. Um... This is giving me like picnic vibes. And I don't know if it's the, the print that they chose. It's kind of like a, a gingham patterned um, picnic blanket. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's really cute, but it's just giving me picnic vibes. That's all. And I love a good picnic. Get yourself a basket, some fruit, uh, some cheese, a little meat, a little charcuterie, a um, little wine, why not? And have yourself a picnic, a, a blanket in the park. Why not? This is what this is what this is for. A date in the park, a picnic. So, okay, let's talk about this dress, you guys. So we have view A and we have view B. Uh, I believe the only difference is the length. So A is the shorter version, looks like it's knee length. And then B is, um, is T length, more like. So that's really cute. I think I like view B. I love how that looks. So let me show you guys um, the line drawings here. Let me take this out. And here we go. Now, the interesting part, guys, is that the party for this dress is in the back, which is so, so cute. So look at that. Let me see if I can get that straight for you. So again, A is the short version, B is the longer version, and then look at the back. Ooh, look at the back of that dress. Yes. Okay, look at that. So we've got this tie here. We've got this crisscross action. This is where the party is. Party's in the back, um, but this is still giving me picnic. So 
I don't know if you got a concert, a summer concert, festival. This would be the perfect dress, in my opinion, for that. So, yes, this is going to be, this is a winner. This is a winner, you guys. <laughs> this is a winner. Don't say I didn't tell you so. So let's talk about it. This pattern has eight pieces in total. You will need lining. So this is a lined dress. I don't know if it's just the bodice or the whole dress, but either way, you're going to need lining. I think it's just the bodice because you're only needing like a half yard. So that's normally going to be just the bodice that's lined. Um, you will need interfacing as well. And your suggested fabrics for this dress include chambray, cotton types, gingham, linen types, pique, poplin, sateen, and seersucker. I don't know if you guys remember a few years ago, I sewed up a dress with seersucker. I still have some of that left. I wonder if I have enough left to make this dress. I love seersucker, you guys. I love seersucker for summer. Yes. So, hmm. I might have to look into that later. <laughs> but yes, those are your suggested fabrics. Your notions, you will need thread and then 5 eighths yards of one and one fourth inch wide elastic. That is going to be for your waistband. I don't know if you guys can see back here that waistband, that's where your elastic is going to go. So yeah, if you guys don't have this pattern, maybe you'll pick it up. New look. Six, 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 six. All right, guys. I'm telling you, this is this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Okay, so here we go. Simplicity 9330. Mimi G. Um, this is an older pattern, but I just got it and I love it. I love it, you guys. Look at that. Hmm. So we, again, we got, we got options. We've got options here, people. We have the dress and then we have the jumpsuit. And a look at that, another sweetheart neckline. I didn't even do this on purpose, you guys. I promise you, I did not do this on purpose, but all these sweetheart necklines are just popping up out of, out of nowhere. So here we go. Um, This is gorgeous. I love this tie detailing here in the front. This is just going to cinch anything that needs to be cinched. That needs to be cinched, it's cinched. If you're going to dinner, you're gonna over, you're gonna eat, have a good merry old time, cinch. Why not? I love this. And even if you don't need to cinch, it's just gorgeous. That volume there with the tie. Um, and then again here on the jumpsuit, same thing. I love it. And the asymmetry of it all, the asymmetry of it all, y'all. This is a good one. I even like where that pant hits the length of that. That's really good. Might have to lengthen it for myself. To hit right there but hey i can do that so let's talk about this pattern this pattern has 13 pieces um it does not say whether it is easy or intermediate etc but i don't know um let me show you guys the line drawings i can get this out here let's see Ooh, so good so, 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 so good. So here are our line drawings, you guys. Look at that. Ooh, so A, again, is the jumpsuit with that sweetheart neckline and the back. Look at that tie, you guys. And then B is the dress Ooh, and the back. This is a good one, you guys. This is a good one. Loving this pattern. Loving this one. So, um, no straps for summer. How about that? So, so here we go. Um, your suggested fabrics for this pattern are crepe, rayons, silky tights, soft cotton, tinsel, and velvet. I don't know what I'm going to pick, but 
I'm excited. So excited. I think I'm gonna find something with a print because I think that's just gonna be really, really cute. As far as your notions go, you're going to need some thread. You're gonna need one 14 inch invisible zipper. You're gonna need one and seven eighths yards of one fourth inch wide boning. So we're doing some boning here. Ooh, y'all, I haven't done anything with boning yet. I think I've only shown you one other pattern with boning and I have not sewn that up yet, but this one, I might go ahead and try it. Never sewn with boning before, but this is a good one. I think I could get away with um, allowing this to be my first boning project. So we'll see. <laughs> we will see. You will need some interfacing for this uh, pattern. And so excited. Can't wait to sew this one up. This is just so, so cute. And again, there's a sew along with Mimi G here. If you get lost or you just want some company while you're sewing this up, there you go. So if you do not have this pattern, pick it up. Again, this is Simplicity 9330. All right, guys, last pattern that I'm gonna share with you today. All good things come to an end, so they say. So they say. Uh, this is Simplicity 8875. And I just love this, you guys. Look at that. Look at, it's just so classic and effortless and chic. I love it. Love, 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 love it. I don't know which one I'm going to make. So are you guys seeing all of these nice, beautiful options here? My eyes just keep dancing around because there's just so much opportunity here. So look at A. I don't know, is that is that a ruffle? Let me see what's going on here. That's a ruffle. And then there's a slit in the front. And then there's buttons down the front and then there's long sleeves. So for me, this is more fall, but so, so cute. The model here is wearing view B, which is a really nice skirt flounce, it looks like here. Um, and then a more of a tapered sleeve with a V-neck, which is really, really cute again. View C here is, it looks like view A, maybe a little bit longer, maybe not. But here we have, look at that. It's not even a sleeve on its own. It's more of a bodice joined sleeve. Do y'all see that? It's not a separate sleeve. How cute is that? Again, with the slit in the front again, and then D, we have a shorter version with a flowy sleeve. That looks more like a sleeve flounce to me, but y'all, this is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. So let's talk about this pattern. Uh, this pattern has 13 pieces total. Let me show you guys these line drawings so we can get a better idea of what all we have in store with this pattern. Here we go. Okay, so I'm already getting the vibe that there may be some overlaying going on here because normally when they show this um, view with this dark part over, that means there's an overlay. So that could be very interesting for view C. Um, but these are the line drawings. So A, B, C, and D, which is the shorter version. And then you have the backs. So A and B are the same except for the sleeve, C here, and then D. So very, very cute. So let's talk about the suggested fabrics. So we have your charmeuse, cotton lawn, crepe de chine, and your silky types, and then voile. 
So for C, there is an overlay. So we're gonna have a contrast in lace. So that could be very, very, very pretty. Ooh, that could be very pretty. Imagine that with a lace overlay. Fancy. All right, so let's see. For your notions, you're going to need thread, of course, and one 22-inch zipper. So not a whole lot going on with your notions. Um, let's see. If you're sewing up view A, you'll need 5 eighths yards of 3 8 inch wide elastic and 7 half inch buttons. If you're sewing up B, you'll need 11 half inch buttons. And if you're sewing up C, you'll need one package of half inch wide single fold bias tape. So those are your notions. Uh, you will need some interfacing for this pattern. Um, let's see. Yeah, so just very, very cute overall. Um, again, this dress does not say whether it's easy, intermediate, or whatever, um, but it's just really cute. So if you guys do not have this pattern, maybe you'll pick it up for spring and summer. Again, this is Simplicity 8875. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for today's pattern haul. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, I enjoyed making it for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos once a week. All right, you guys. Well, until next time, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great weekend and I will see you later.